In our One Piece journey, we have seen Luffy either restoring a previous regime or rebel against a current one. I think this is done very purposefully, as it is the author's way of preparing him for the final war. But no matter how many gears he unlocks, he will never be ready to overthrow the regime with his crew alone. And that is why I think each of his crewmen will be an influential figure in different kingdoms. Sanji and Zoro are probably both royalty. There is Chopper who gained influence in both Drum and Birdie Kingdom. Nami who became influential in the Skyle and during the time skip and so on. Oda prepared for the end from the very first R, and this shows how genius he really is. And by the way, I will assume that everyone who doesn't subscribe likes anti-R hentai.